How to make money as a UX designer? When you search this query on YouTube, you'll find tons of videos guiding you to make X amount of money through your designs. Now that X amount varies with the video and their titles. I'm not saying that those creators are fooling you. Even I made a video where I show you how you can make your first 50,000 from UX design. It's a framework that you follow which helps you to get to the level and yes, it's possible to do that. But let's be honest, UX design is a competitive field. It's in high demand which means more and more people want to join this industry. But what about you? How can you stand out amongst the crowd? Well, one such way is to be updated with the new design trends, to learn them and to execute them in your work. It makes sense to go with the stream, right? And that's why this video. Here, I will cover those five design trends that you will find getting traction in the design world. Some of them are in the initial phase while the rest are already being used by popular companies around the world. Now, if you're ready, let's get started with the video. Our first trend in the list is 3D design and minimalism. As the name suggests, this trend is a fusion of depth and simplicity. 3D design has emerged as a powerful tool in UX, adding depth, dimension and visual interest to interfaces. And when paired with minimalism, it strikes a balance between details and minimalism without unwanted complexity and clutter. You might have known that minimalism is a design concept that focuses on the essential elements. It can be used in 3D modeling, buildings, objects, interior designs and even logos. One of the most recent examples example is a testimony. Reddit recently had a brand refresh and they modified the logo as well. Modified, not changed. They retained the goodness and recall value of the old logo. The company's mascot, Snoo, which is an alien with a rounded head, pointy ears and an antenna with a dot on the end. In the new modified logo, they just 3D-fied the original character, which was flat and 2D initially. Especially in 3D modeling, minimalism can make presentations easy to understand. It can make interfaces more intuitive and easier to navigate and also brings in more engagement, easy accessibility and usability of the product. The trend of 3D design and minimalism is evident in the work of companies like Apple where you see what you wanted to see. You'd know that Apple has released his iPhone 15 series mobile phones and I'm here on the iPhone 15 Pro's shopping page and I'm scrolling the page and you see how Apple has utilized 3D elements to create depth and dimension while maintaining a clean and minimalist aesthetics. This not only enhances the user experience but also reinforces the brand commitment to cutting-edge technology. The second trend is sustainability. As the environmental concerns are growing, UX practices are adapting to minimize the environmental impact on digital products. You see, sustainability is no longer a buzzword. It's a core responsibility for everyone, including UX designers. But what does design have to do with sustainability and environmental preservation? Well, the link between design and sustainability can be drawn through the factor of energy consumption. In the internet world, the designs that we create are also part of data and when this data constantly flows through the data centers it squeezes out the energy which leads to carbon dioxide emissions and that's how design and sustainability comes together. A sustainable UX and UI design focuses on reducing the negative impact of environment and society. It also aims to build apps and websites that are simple and light. Companies like Patagonia are leading the way in sustainable UX. It's an American clothing and gear brand which is committed to sustainable UX practices throughout their product development process. You can see on their website, they have included a message of threats to the public lands. When you scroll down to the bottom, there's another message where they're prioritizing their purpose over profit. Overall, the clean interface of Patagonia's website is what we call a sustainable UX. Their website showcases their sustainability initiatives using eco-friendly materials and optimizing energy consumption. They incorporate sustainable messaging into their user interactions, encouraging users to make eco-conscious choices. Even for physical products, you know, when you see two t-shirts, one regular one and the other one a sustainable one, you may not even notice any perceivable difference between them. But when it is called out that one is sustainable, maybe it's made up of ocean waste or it's processed from discarded plastic bottles, it creates awareness. And you as a consumer may end up picking the sustainable one over the regular one. So even a small message like that matters. It helps in shaping a behavior in the users. Let's move to our third trend, AI integration. I I don't need to tell you how AI is transforming UX by providing personalized experiences, automating tasks and offering intelligent recommendations. ChatGPT and Midjourney are already playing a pivotal role in UX design. ChatGPT helps build user personas, write UI copies and tools like Midjourney and Firefly can generate illustrations and images for your design. Figma also offers a number of AI plugins like Majestic, Ando AI, Wireframe Designer and FigGPT. Other than that, AI-powered chatbots, voice assistants and predictive analytics are becoming commonplace in user 
user interfaces. Google's generative AI is the best example of this AI integration trend. Earlier, we needed to explore a particular website for answers. But now when you search for any query, let's say, what is UX design? Google's AI automatically start to generate answers to your question rather than only showing a list of websites. You see the shift in experience? It's not a website search engine anymore. It's an entity that listens to you and attempts to solve your real problem by crunching all the information available on the internet to give you to the point answers to your queries. Of course, it's not perfect, but the shift has come and it will only get better over time. And if you aren't satisfied, you can always ask a follow-up question. Without any doubt, Google and Microsoft are at the forefront of this AI-driven UX. Google's AI-powered chatbots like Google Assistant provide personalized assistance and recommendations, while Microsoft's Copilot attempts to be that intelligent partner or co-pilot with you all the time. These AI integration enhance the user experience by making interactions more natural, efficient, and tailored to the individual needs. So your attempt as a designer should be to evaluate where integration of AI can significantly boost the experience for the user. All right, now comes to our fourth trend, which is brutalism. This might sound intense, but it's all about embracing raw design elements that break away from conventional norms. The importance of brutalism lies in its rebellious nature. It challenges the polished and sleek aesthetics we often associate with design. This trend is evident in the websites and the apps that embrace bold typography, unconventional layouts, and exposed elements. It's like when you're used to seeing all the polished and shiny cafes and restaurants, and then when you visit a rustic old school place with 18th century aesthetics, you start loving those imperfections and freshness. While brutalism may seem unconventional, it's a powerful tool for creating a bold and memorable user experience. Companies like Dropbox have adopted brutalist elements in their interfaces, conveying a distinct brand personality. Look how Dropbox is using bold typography to emphasize the brutalist aesthetics. The fonts are kind of stretched and large that are both visually striking and highly legible. This choice of typography contributes to the overall sense of rawness and authenticity while also ensuring that the UI remains user-friendly and accessible. With this, now comes our fifth and the last design trend, scroll-based animations. I'm sure you've seen this animation at least once in your internet life. This trend involves adding dynamic and engaging elements that respond to the user's scroll interactions, creating a seamless experience. The importance here is keeping the users engaged as they scroll through a web page. It adds a layer of interactivity that enhances the brand storytelling and overall user experience. From small startups to giants like Shopify, users scroll based animations to guide users through the content on their web pages while maintaining their interest. It doesn't have to be overly fancy all the time. I'm here on Shopify's website scrolling its homepage. You can see numbers rolling, logos popping up, the strip continuously moving, there's much more. And there you have it folks, five UX design trends that you can work upon to improve your design skill sets. But remember one thing, that trend is a self-destructing thing. You want to use something because it's trendy, but the more you use it, the more mainstream it becomes and it doesn't remain trendy anymore. All the things that I've spoken about today, excluding the sustainability part maybe, are trendy right now, not because they're the greatest things to do. It's just because people have not seen them either because they're something new or old but forgotten. Brutalism is an example of old but forgotten. Use them judicially, know when to use them and when not to use them. How to infuse them with your unique creativity and blend that particular trend to fit your product. You see, these are just like fashion trends. They keep coming and going. To sum up, be updated with the trends, but ensure that they're personalized with your own skill set. If you're looking for an in-detail and step-by-step -step UX design roadmap, then don't forget to check out this video of mine. And if you're interested in my design journey, you can have a look at this video where I have talked about how I got a high-paying UX design job. By the way, in this video, we have discussed five trends. Which one stood out to you? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful content. This is Sapta signing off.